Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. In this video, I'm going to tell you five settings that you need to turn off in your Mac right now. Uh, without wasting any time, we're going to start the video. But before that, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Now let's start with the first setting that is for Apple ID. Now, if you go in system settings, suppose if your Mac is stolen and the thief already knows your MacBook's password, he can just uh, unlock your Mac, he can go to system settings. And once you go to your Apple ID or your account, you can just simply go down and he can sign out or he can remove your account from your Mac. So in order to be prepared for this, all you can do is you can just simply lock your Apple ID and no one will be able to sign out or remove your account from your Mac. So all you have to do is just simply uh, change the account setting. Now, uh, if you want to change the account setting, just go to system settings, go down and look for screen time option. Select screen time. Again, on the right hand side, you get multiple options. Go down and select content and privacy over here. Turn on this toggle. Once you turn on this toggle, you will be able to check out all the other options available on this particular page. Look for preference restrictions. Select that option. Again, you get a pop up screen like this in that uh, make sure allow account changes option is turned off. If it is on, make sure this is turned off and then select done option. Now, if I go back to my account or Apple ID within few seconds, uh, this will be disabled like this. So if I go down, now you can see sign out option is not available. So from next time onwards, no one will be able to remove my account from my Apple ID. So don't forget to turn off that account change option in screen time. Now the next setting is for personalized ad or announcement. And for that, again, you need to go to system settings, which you can find in doc or else go and select Apple logo at the top and then select system settings. This time again, you have to select your Apple ID. Now, if you have turned off that account change option uh, for now, you can just turn it on. And after this setting, you can again turn it off. So uh, once you go to your Apple ID, make sure you select personal information option over here. And on the next page, uh, in front of communication preference, just select this I option. You will get a pop up screen like this in uh, on this particular screen. You get two options. One is announcement and another one is apps, music, TV and more. Now, if you want to receive Apple emails and communications, including announcement, marketing recommendation, etc., uh, then you can keep this toggle on. But if in case you don't want it, make sure you turn both this toggle off and then select done option. So later on, you won't be receiving any uh, notification or any announcement or emails from Apple. Now the next setting is for locations. This is kind of important. So uh, just go to system settings, go down and look for privacy and security. Select that option, select location services over here. Uh, if location service toggle is on, then you will be able to check out a uh, list of applications over here. Make sure you uh, give location access to only those particular application which really needs it. If you think any particular application doesn't require your location access, uh, access, you can just turn it off. This is not the important setting. The important setting is on this particular page. If you go down, you get an option of system services. So select details option over here and you will get a pop up screen in that you will get an option of significant location. Now, currently you can see the toggle is on. Now, what is significant location? You can say it is kind of a feature that helps your device to learn and remember places you frequently visit so that it can provide you location based information and suggestions. So uh, if you don't want your Mac to track your frequent location or if you don't want your Mac to remember places you frequently visit. So in that case, you can just simply turn it off. So as soon as you turn it off, you get a pop up screen like this. You can just simply use your password or touch ID to do the changes. So now you can see I have turned off the toggle, but if you want to check the records, you can just simply go to details option. And in my case, you can see it has 179 records over here, which is from Jan 23 to March 19. So yeah, these records are basically uh, the places I have, uh, you know, frequently visited. So if in case you don't want uh, your Mac to keep all those records, just simply turn it off. Now the next setting is for camera access. And for that, you need to go to system settings, go down uh, and select privacy and security. On this particular page, if you go down, you get an option of camera. Now, if you select that on the next page, you will be able to uh, see list of applications which has camera access. Now you need to decide for yourself that which application really needs camera access. Now, in my case, you can see there is Zoom application, which is video call application. It really needs camera access. So the toggle is on. Apart from that, if I decide not to give permission, I'm going to simply turn off the toggle. If you get a pop up screen like this, either you can quit and reopen your Mac or you can reopen the settings or else you can do that later. So yeah, uh, I have turned off the toggle for browser, but if in case I'm doing video call on that particular browser, 
I need to give camera permission over here. So yeah, make sure which uh, application really needs camera access and also uh, look for one thing that if any unidentified application is present over here, just simply turn off camera access for that. Now, once you're done with camera access, the next setting is related to microphone. Now, you just have to go back in privacy and security. Again, if you go down, you get an option of microphone over here. Uh, and over here, again, you can see, you will be able to check out list of applications which has mic access. Now, I don't want to give uh, microphone access to Steam application. I can just simply turn it off. If you think any particular application doesn't require microphone access, turn it off. Zoom application to do video call to uh, when I want to speak, it needs microphone access. So I have kept it on. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.